What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner. I hope that you're having an amazing quarantine and today I'm super excited to bring you part two of the TikTok ads crash course. Now, I think that this is probably going to be the most important video in the entire series just because it's absolutely fundamental if you want to do TikTok ads in general. Today we're going to be going over how exactly to get accepted for TikTok ads and actually how to set up your ad accounts, which again is pretty important. So let's go ahead and hop right into the value. All right, so I mentioned in my last video, but if you did not know, TikTok ads are on an apply only basis. Essentially what that means is it's not like Facebook where you can just go create an account and launch an ad, you know, within the hour. TikTok ads, it's just something that you have to be accepted to if you want to create ads. And it's honestly a process to get accepted, but we're gonna dive into that a little bit more in depth in this video. So. Obviously, the first step is just applying, and to do that, you can just go to ads.tiktok.com, fill in all this information, and um, just go ahead and click make a reservation. So there are some specific things that I would say when you are applying to this first screen, and one of those being that the only people that I know, and this is three out of three people, that have been accepted to a TikTok ads um, account is... People that run marketing agencies or they applied as a marketing agency. In my opinion, it's totally worth it, even if you're just an e-com store owner, to just go ahead and like make a marketing agency and then you can just market for your e-com store and that's your marketing agency. Um, you can literally just throw together a website on Wix or Squarespace or something like that in two hours and if it you know, makes you a ton of money down the line getting approved for TikTok ads, and it's totally worth it. So I'm not exactly sure why they only accept marketing agencies. And again, I'm not saying that they only accept marketing agencies, but in my experience, that's the only people I know who have been accepted. So I applied around seven times before I got approved. Um, roughly the first like five were with my store names. Um, I just tried out different e-com stores. I was like, okay, well, maybe they didn't like that one. So I'll try this one. Um, none of them got approved. So then I tried applying as a personal brand. That didn't get approved. And then I tried applying as an agency. And that got approved within like a day or two. So yeah, I, I really think that they favor marketing agencies, even though I have you know no uh, actual word from TikTok about that. So like I said, I did apply about seven times and I would not expect to get accepted on the first application, but I would also just have persistence. Um, even if it takes you 700 times, in my opinion, TikTok ads are worth it. So I would just apply around once a week and just expect like a couple of days for them to follow up with you. And if they don't follow up within a couple of days, then um, you probably didn't get accepted. All right. So once you do submit an application and you get a follow up, which kind of means you're in, but not specifically, um, it's going to look like this. So they're just gonna shoot you an email and ask you seven questions. I'm gonna tell you my answers to these questions and what I would recommend that you put, but I would not recommend that you lie on your application um, just because I, I can't do that, um, probably for legal purposes. But anyway, so first thing they're gonna ask you is your business name. Um, if you have a legal business, this is definitely ideal. If you don't have a legal business, I wouldn't necessarily let that stop me from applying, but it's, it's definitely a good thing to have, especially because what we're going to go over in the next slide, um, they just request a little bit more info on your legal business. So next thing, your location, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. Your budget, um, I would recommend putting at least four grand a day here or three grand a day. I put four grand a day or more. Um, and I know someone who put less than that and they did not get a response to their email. So yeah, definitely, definitely important to just show them that you have a pretty good budget that you're working with. Um, even though right now I'm not spending four grand, I don't think I'm getting up there, but, um, yeah, they're not really going to like follow up and be like, you're not spending as much money as you said you were. <laughs> All right. So verticals is, um, I did Google this, honestly, but it's just like your target market and like the niche that you're trying to reach with TikTok ads. 
Reservation or auction basically just means the type of bidding system that you're looking for. Um, and I just put auction because that's like their general platform um, where you're like bidding for conversions. It's like Facebook, um, but yeah, you don't really need to worry about it. Next thing is campaign objectives. Obviously, I don't know your campaign objectives, but you can read what I put here. Um, I got accepted, so I would say it's a pretty good response. But again, like don't don't lie, I guess, on your application. All right, one thing I did want to mention though, um, just so you know that I'm not like a complete hypocrite over here, I do have a marketing agency. I've had a marketing agency for like three, four years now. Um, so I'm not lying. Um, my clients are unspecified e-commerce stores, but um, yeah, so I do run a marketing agency. All right, so the next step is just going to be signing their contract and sending like some more information on your business. So um, it took me probably about like three to four days, I would say after the, actually it may have taken a little bit more than that. Cause I remember like I, I submitted all my responses and I didn't get a response for like three, four days. And then I emailed them again and I was like, Hey, um, you know, what's up? And they eventually emailed me back and put me in like another email conversation with someone else. But they essentially sent me like a contract and they also asked for some more like business information as far as like your legal business name, um, an email, phone number, um, could be something else, but just some pretty basic information, honestly. Oh yeah, also an account representative, like a, a name. So I just put my name obviously. And then they also send you a contract um, that they call an NDA, but it literally has nothing in it about non-disclosure agreement. Um, so that's kind of weird, but it essentially just means that you're going to pay them and um, you're not going to like violate terms of their platform and stuff like that. It's a pretty basic contract, but you do need to sign that and then email them that with your business info and um, you'll be good. So after that, they're just going to get back to you with a link to just set up your account. And then they say that they have to like set it up on their end. You can just set up your account. Like I can't unfortunately set up two accounts, so I'm not able to show you. But I do remember it being extremely weird. Like half the application was in Chinese. It was just a super sketchy website. Um, you had to give them like a ton of information, like nothing, like no social security numbers or anything like that. But um, yeah, just a ton of information. Half of it was in Chinese. I literally had to Google translate like where to put my name and stuff. And it was just like incredibly unprofessional, honestly. I'm sure that they're going to change that in the next couple of weeks or months. But um, yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory once you get Google Translate out. You kind of just have to fill out all this information and then you're good. You can hop on the TikTok platform and just start creating stuff. Now, you can't get any ads like approved until or actually I don't think you can launch any ads in general until they finish setting up your account because that's when they add like a balance to your account um, which essentially just means the money that you can spend and yeah so that's basically about it as far as like setting up your account you do need to like email them your account ID once you get in um, so just so that you know they can add a balance and everything like that all right, so that's basically it as far as setting up your advertising account goes. And the next step is just going to be setting up your TikTok pixels. Now, TikTok pixel is very similar to a Facebook pixel, but it's a lot harder to install. And um, it's a lot more complicated, a lot more unprofessional. But again, I'm sure they're going to change it. They've actually already changed it in the time that I've been on the platform, which is just a couple weeks. And they've changed a lot of other things too. So it's actually kind of crazy. Um, how quickly they're working over at TikTok. But yeah, I, I do think that this video may be like completely irrelevant in a couple of months. Um, however, if you're still watching it, it's probably not. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop into my computer. We're already in my computer, but let's hop into TikTok ads and we can learn how to set up a TikTok pixel. All right, so right now we're inside of TikTok ads. Basically, the only thing that I had to do to get to pixels was just come to library and then click event. And then it brings you to this incredibly weird screen. Um, it's not actually supposed to be like that. It's supposed to say like pixel there, um, but it's just one of the many, many bugs with their system right now. So essentially you just, um, just click here to pixels and then you can go ahead and click create pixel. 
um, whenever this loads. That's another annoying thing with TikTok ads. It takes forever to load absolutely anything. So just go ahead and click create new pixel and then manual install card title. I don't know why it says that. Um, yeah, you can just name it literally anything that you want. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Step two, submit BTN. What the, what does that even mean? So you can just go in and copy your pixel right here and then just go ahead and go to your Shopify store. So basically all you gotta do is go to themes and then debut and then click actions and edit code. From here, you can just go to theme.liquid and then right under where it says head, like on the third line, it's not always gonna be on the third line, but you just make a space under that and then paste the TikTok script and then just go ahead and click save. At this point, the next step is just to, you know, go to step three and then you can go ahead and click online store title. For some reason, all of these like um, just instructional text is just like completely messed up. It was not like this the last time that I set up a pixel, but it's been different every single time. So that's definitely interesting. It keeps you on your toes. Um, absolutely none of these are working, but what I believe this means is this is gonna be an add to cart. This is going to be a complete payment I have absolutely no clue what shopping means, and I believe detail is a view content. Like I said, these are absolutely completely different than what they were the last time that I set up a pixel. Um, but yeah, I, I still believe that that was correct. So we're just going to go ahead and delete this one because we didn't fill it up, and that's really all we need anyway as far as view content, add to cart, and complete payment goes. Cool, so basically what we're gonna do is um, just click this event desk page title thingy, um, and then essentially what we're going to do is, <laughs> I have no clue what's wrong with this, but we're gonna go to the page URL thing, um, we're going to do contains, and then we're basically going to type products, because whenever you view a product, it's either going to say products, or it's gonna say collections. Maybe it says products and collections if it's from a collection. By the way or not, we're just gonna put both of those in here. And then we're gonna be good essentially for the view content event. So now we're gonna be doing the add to cart event and it's basically the same process. So you just go down to um, change track method. <laughs> uh, just go ahead and click page URL and then contains. And then for the URL, you basically just have to type cart. That's all for add to cart. Now we're going to go to complete payment. So same thing, page URL contains, and then we're gonna do thank underscore you. And essentially that's just what the URL is going to contain whenever someone completes their purchase because um, it like brings you to that little like um, screen where it shows like a map and it shows your order confirmation, your receipt, everything like that. And then if you like look at the URL of that page, it's like a ton of numbers. And then at the end it says thank underscore you. So that's kind of how I figured this out. Um, I basically just had to play around with it for way longer than I would like to admit um, until I was able to figure out something that actually worked. But really hope that this helped you guys out. I'm sure that, like I said, in a couple of months it's gonna be completely different and a lot more streamlined as far as installing your Pixel, but for now, that is the very odd and lengthy route that you have to take in order to track purchases and everything good like that with TikTok. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're getting a ton of value out of these TikTok ads tutorials, and if so, then do me a favor and hit that like button below just to help the algorithm out, and I feel like you kinda owe it to me just because no one on YouTube is sharing this information but you know, that's all right. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and in the next video, we're basically gonna be breaking down how exactly to create the most effective ad possible with TikTok. So just be on the lookout for that video and I'll see you then.